Okay guys, so in this video tutorial, we're going to be installing four packages before we can start using socket.io. So the first package we're going to be installing is called Express. So you're going to open up your terminal, um, cd into your web application directory, and then type in this command, uh, npm install, and I'm going to pass the option save. And then we're going to type in express. Okay, and this is the name of the package, the first package we're going to be installing. I'm going to hit enter. And uh, these two warnings you can ignore. That's fine. And we're going to clear it and go on to the next command. And of course, we're going to be installing socket.io. All right, so we're going to type in socket.io. And then the last package we're going to be installing is called Winston. So I'm going to just go over here and type in Winston. Okay, and this package is um, it does the logging. It logs events onto the terminal if you want to use it for debugging. So and it's optional. This package is not required. So I'm going to hit enter. Okay, so we just installed three packages for Node. Now the next package we're going to install is actually used for PHP and we're going to use this package to actually emit events from PHP. So these events are going to be emitted from the server side. They won't be emitted from the actual node server. The node server is also server side, but we're actually going to be using it from the PHP server side. And that's what Elephant IO is going to be used for and I'll be showing you how to do that in the next uh, video tutorials that I'll be Posting, so um, I, th I think I have it saved. So I'm gonna just paste it over here. Yep, I do. Okay, so we're gonna install this package using com using Composer, and um, once you typed it typed it into your terminal, you, you're just gonna click on Enter, and that's gonna install um, Elephant.io, which again is gonna be used to emit events to the server. So I already have this installed before. So that's why nothing installed, but if you don't have it installed, you're going to see that um, that Elephant IO has been installed. So it's not going to give you that uh, message saying nothing to install or update. Um, okay, so in the next video tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how we're actually going to be setting up the server.js file to launch the node server to listen and to emit events.